The song, it doesn't focus on the darkness, but switches to the light. The song goes on to explain that even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, and when you're broken on the ground, you will be found. The song and these words, they represent that even when you are at your darkest, there will be someone that will help you through, and they will find you. It is necessary to reach out and accept the, the, help, the help from the people around you. It is not easy to do that, but sometimes it is necessary to accept the help that you are offered. When you reach the darkest point of your life, it feels like you can't go any further. God will provide. He sends you this person, and that person, they are your angel. It is a person to give you encouragement, a person to inspire you, a person who truly makes you believe that anything is possible. These are truly the times where God allows us to grow together and extend our roots farther than our comfort zone and the little patch that we feel like we belong. It allows us to grow together, not just where we feel comfortable. It allows us to expand and accept other people who we might not believe as part of our own. And trust me, sometimes it really sucks. <laughs> this past January kicked off one of the worst times in my life. But luckily for me, I ended up getting a few angels to help me get through it. I would like to tell you a story about an angel who's been in my life for a while now. As a few of you know, I was diagnosed with chronic migraines last year. As I was in and out of the hospital, and I was at my wit's end, and I was at the point of feeling like it was never going to end. Was I ever going to get better? Was it ever going to change? When I started going through the pain, I thought it was just a regular migraine. But it really wasn't. Doctors began consulting me and treating me like I was three years old and didn't understand what I was talking about. I put up with those doctors and their like, dartboard technique of treatments for about three months before I had finally had enough. When one doctor in particular told me that one medicine wasn't going to work unless I was positive about it. <laughs> I had had enough. At that point, I had been suffering from a pain level of about an eight of eight or nine out of ten on a daily basis for about three months, and nothing had helped. I had had enough. This was when I met Angelina. Words honestly cannot describe how incredible this woman is. She was the first person to look at me and say. My guys suck, which honestly, it doesn't seem like much, but it felt like such a relief to hear that at the time. Angelina was the first person who treated me like I wasn't crazy or delusional for saying that my head hurt. She had medicine that she would give me that actually worked and gave me relief. She didn't shoot blindly at a dartboard, hoping to hit a target, and just hoping blindly that something would work. She also helped me come up with a plan to help me get through and pass my freshman year of high school. She didn't just tell me with my head, she helped me with a variety of other things. And none of the other doctors gave anything else like that a second thought. She gave me so much hope for my future. 
She is truly my angel, and I don't know if I would be the person I am right now if I hadn't met her. Sometimes the person you least expect can come into your life and make an astronomical impact. Before you know it, you will be wondering what it was like before you even knew that person. I implore each and every one of you to be open to these relationships. Because who knows? One of them might be sent by God to help you. Or someone might be sent so that you can be their angel. Don't shut people out. They could turn out to be your best friend, your hope, or your angel. Amen. Amen.